Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Daily Squeeze Take 183. Um, Fridays, I'm going to go back to celebrations. I'm not going to really pop on and do the recommendations and do massive big chats because I think at this time, I think it's really important to celebrate what's um, what's good in our lives, what's what we're doing to stay positive. Um, I'm going to celebrate something today. I just had a fantastic chat with my sister. So I called her and it was probably 9 a.m. because I thought, oh, do I go live or do I call my sister quickly? And this came after a phone call with my dad, which it was great to hear from my dad because we don't connect as much as we want to. So it was just a lovely, it's been a lovely morning. I started out um, breakfast with a friend. She is just one of those behind the scene people working at um, Queensland Health that's just working too much, too hard and putting so much effort into her job right now to make sure we're all safe that it's amazing. So it was really nice to catch up with her and just to make sure she's doing okay. Um, she looks a little tired, but she's still so positive and I really love that. And then after that, I had a message from my dad and we ended up connecting and having a call, not just messages, which was lovely. And then, sorry, not sorry, instead of popping on here around 9 a.m. like I normally do, I called my sister and it was just the perfect timing. She was just like, I need a drink, blah, 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 blah. And I said, okay, I'll pour one too. So at 9 a.m., my favorite drink in the house right now is this guava thing Mark, brought, Mark has brought home, who's calling me right now. Um, there he is. <laughs> uh, sorry, Bob. Love you. Call you back. So I poured myself a drink and I just had this lovely chat with my sister and we chatted about everything and anything, not much Corona stuff, which was nice. And the best thing about that is, you know, I love it when my sister has a wine because then she starts to say, who else can we chat to? And we chatted with my mom and it was lovely. Was that necessary? No. Um, we had a chat with my mom, so we were three-way video um, chatting, and this was all over video as well because it's just a little bit more personal, and I think it gives, well, for me, it gave me that sense of my sister was right here with me, which I really needed more than I thought I did. So we called my mom, and it's not that we played up that we were having a drink, but we asked her to have a drink with us, and then we made some jokes. And then I think her connection got cut off because there's no way she would have hung up on us. Maybe she did. I love her. She's such a trooper. Um, my sister and I were like, we're like this or we're like that. And we're both happy to say that. And the last, I don't know how long we've just been like this and it's really great. So I have a feeling when we called mom together, she was just kind of like in that. Mm. <laughs> phase which is good it's good to keep her on her toes as well and it just got my sister thinking more than me where my sister actually added one of my cousins into the call and it was lovely to see her as well and it was just I did mention to my sister that obviously not being able to just fly home is a worry for me and it does bring on anxiety but just being able to talk to them and see them like so we're going to try and set up a, a cousin chat, maybe. Well, she is, because she's an amazing sister, so. I highly recommend just calling out of the blue video chats with your loved ones, because it is a celebration in itself, just to check in, just to say, yeah, life is busy, but life in a way right now is also trying to tell us to just take a step back, I think. We're all so busy and now all of a sudden with social distancing and trying to not spread this virus, I guess, um, 
such a negative word, um, but to not spread this virus on to others, especially those we love, you know, we do have to be really mindful and just keep our distance. Stay at home if you can. If there's no reason to leave, don't leave. Hence, I'm home. I'm in my t-shirt. I put my earrings on just as I was coming on because I did feel a little bit um, naked. I... I'm also celebrating today that yesterday I went on, I came on live and I was makeup free. Today I do have some mascara on, but that's all. And maybe some chapstick. But it's freeing. Like, it's really nice to just come on and be me. I love, don't get me wrong, part of my self-love is getting ready every morning. I love the creative time of painting my face. It feels really good. It's time of my morning for me. It's, I really hope the traffic isn't too loud. My apologies if it is too loud. I need to find some, some headphones. They're out in the car though. Um, but getting ready for me is my own kind of way of self care. And I love getting ready to come on live. It makes me more productive for the rest of my day. And it really helps me just keep motivated for the day where the last couple days I have, I'm chilling out, I'm not in my pajamas, I have changed because I have been out today, um, but I'm just a little bit more relaxed and being a little bit more relaxed is helping me just chill. So make sure you do what you need to do to chill. Um, please pop in what you are celebrating today. It is Friday, it's the end of another week. This week has been really interesting. It's like, you know, I keep seeing all those memes online where it's like, oh, what a year in this last week. And I really, truly um, understand what that means because so much is happening, yet there's so much unknown where I think just trying to stay positive, looking at the little things means quite a bit. So from here on out for a little while, Fridays are going to be Celebration Friday and just it's a time to give a shout out to someone you love it's a time to celebrate what you have achieved this week um it's a time to also plan to have an amazing week next week it's interesting because i don't want to come on here and talk about this virus all the time but it's so much a present in our life, Mark's calling me again, that it's really hard not to. Um, I really think after this morning, reaching out to our loved ones, making sure they're okay. My sister does live alone. She's got her pup. I'm here during the day by myself. It is, I don't feel alone. It sometimes gets lonely. I know I was talking about those words yesterday, but I have the pups here, so it's, it is really nice. Um, I do wait till Mark gets home. He's kind of lucky because he is working out in the fresh air. He's not going into an office every day. And it is his way kind of to get his stress out. So it's his stress relief as well, which is lovely. Um, I'm still loving my office. I'm definitely celebrating that this week. And... There was something else I wanted to celebrate. I've lost it, I'm sorry. It'll probably come back to me. I guess I've kind of explained the reason why I want to do these celebrations is to just keep some positive and happiness around. I think it's important. Um, like when I talked to my dad today, you know, I said, oh, please give his lady a hug from me and then I asked him to please ask his lady to give him a bear hug from me it's you know virtual hugs are just as good as uh, any hugs right now and check in on any and everyone you can especially if you have the time to I think it's important um, all my families in the States it's really hard for me it's really really hard for me so I know I'll be doing video chats with friends. I have a video chat or a chat. I don't know if we'll be, we'll be video chatting tomorrow morning as well with a friend that's just down in Toowoomba. No, Townsville, I'll get there. I 
have had a drink this morning. I hope you can't tell too much. <coughs> um, it's such an interesting Friday. And there's so much traffic going on right now that this is not a good time to go live, so I won't be doing it at this time again. I'm going to try to stick with the 9, 9 a.m.s. It's been such a week where I know I haven't always hit that 9 a.m. mark this week. But it's interesting because I think a celebrating is something that just talking with my sister today, it's almost like we're forgetting to celebrate the good stuff. She has a new job. We need to celebrate that. Yeah, she might not be able to go out and about and celebrate with friends, but there's no reason why the virtual celebration can't be just as good. We had so much fun today, um, just now on the phone, that it's going to make my day, maybe even my weekend, to be honest. It was just, I think, what we both needed. Um, oh, also celebrating Morph is one. So Morph's birthday was yesterday, and although we've had the puppy for under six months, it feels like a lifetime, and I wouldn't change him being in our family. Yeah, he doesn't completely match Buddy and Ruby, <laughs> which is something we've thought about, but he's such a character in himself that we love it. So I think to wrap this chat up today, I'm just going to say pop down your celebrations again. Um, just take some time to be grateful for what's around you, who's in your life, who's reaching out, and if someone hasn't reached out, Reach out to them and then celebrate that. It's um, it's an interesting time, but it doesn't necessarily... It's all big trucks. I don't understand it. And of course, I have all the windows and doors open because it is finally perfect weather in Cairns. I love this. The breeze is amazing. I actually put a sweatshirt on earlier today. <laughs> um, <laughs> didn't think I'd be doing that this early, but it's uh, the mornings are just crisp and lovely. And then... The temperature comes up and the humidity comes out a little bit during the day, but it's oh, it's perfect. It's just what I needed for that little pick-me-up as well, so maybe that's another celebration. Um, pop your celebrations down below. I see I do have a comment, but unfortunately I can't see it came up and kind of went away. Um, yeah. What are you celebrating? Pop it below. Help me celebrate. Um, birthday Bonanza is still going on, so find that first post. I will be going live next week. Uh, not live, sorry. It is a, you do need to sign up for it, but it's an online workshop. Three, oh, the name of it. I don't even have my papers out. Three healthy, three key habits to stress less and build self-love for a happier, healthier you. So I'm just going to come online to do an online workshop on just some stuff you can do while you're at home these days and or while you may be at home soon. Um, if you can pop on, I believe it's next Tuesday, the 20-something Tuesday of March, and it'll be about 11 a.m. Uh, Brisbane time. So. If you do want the link to that to sign up, let me know. Registration is open. I will be posting more of that. I know I've kind of dropped the ball, but I will get on to that soon, and I will talk to you, if not this weekend, on Monday. Have a lovely weekend. Don't undo all the good you've done this week. Focus on you and your family and your loved ones, and be safe and healthy. And of course, wash your hands. <laughs> all right. Have a great weekend. Well, who's for Friday and go smash it. You got this.